Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, January 3rd, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I allow my soul to lead me through my personal evolution revolution. And here we are, our first week of our 222 year. Um, we have the sun today working 13 degrees, that revolution, evolution energy. Before we dig in today's astro, I do want to look at this week ahead brief overview. Um, we will have the moon shifting today, Monday, into Aquarius. So between the moon and Mercury in Aquarius, we are going to have some really strong mental vibes coming in. Uh, so taking time to ground, recognize... Uh, People do things from various energies. I personally like to ground by connecting my root chakra energy into the earth, and you can expand that cord. It doesn't have to be a thin cord. You can expand it. Like, it can be like tree roots, and I think this is a week that definitely deserves tree roots. I also encourage, <laughs> as, uh, as you work on grounding yourself, to check in with your grounding cord. I have noticed many times it can get frayed, um, sometimes that's by some really strong uh, energies that bounce our nervous system around. So <laughs> check on its status. Is it frayed? Does it need to be recalibrated, healed, um, infused with light? You may find many different ways of working with this, but do check in with that because that will serve you <laughs> through this week. Um, besides that, it is a quieter week. We do have the nodes working to finish up in the sign of Gemini, which is interesting, or Gemini and Sagittarius. They're actually directly squaring Jupiter right now. And so Jupiter is reminding us like the path forward, the path of light, um, Mercury aligning our mind, Mercury, sorry, not Mercury, North Node and Gemini aligning our mind with this magic, with the our mystical selves, our soul selves. And not falling into old patterns with that south node. So do be aware of that this week as we move forward, as Jupiter moves forward. Uh, moon into Pisces on Wednesday will combine with Jupiter. Some super magic that day. Uh, moon into Aries. Getting a little aggro. Um, <laughs> the only major thing besides like the strong electrical vibes this week, we will have the Sun and Venus connecting on the 8th and so that feels really powerful to align and remember the lessons this Venus retrograde aligning with our yin um, practicing self-care practicing responsibility for ourselves and our nurturance um, that's what feels really strong for this week ahead that being said I do want to mention we just had a beautiful uh, patron gathering for this new moon in Capricorn that we just moved through and I highly suggest you join my patron and check out these energies we talked about this year ahead and pulled some beautiful cards it felt very magical very Jupiter in Pisces so let's look at today we have the moon shifting out of Capricorn into Aquarius the moon will not shift until 2 44 p.m. Pacific time uh, leading into that going to have some void moon and we're going to have a few lunar challenges. We have the moon connecting with Venus early morning hours but again it's this reminder as things run over Venus and Capricorn in this retrograde process to recheck. Am I honoring my personal needs? Am I showing up in relationship with myself? Am I being committed to myself, my growth, my personal evolution, revolution energy? So Good to check in with yourself to start the day. We also have the moon and Pluto connecting early in the day. The exact connection happens around 8.20 a.m. Pacific time. So you might wake up feeling <laughs> some of the shadows, some of the daunting energy uh, holding space there. Now it's interesting because Pluto is actually shifting to 26 degrees. And 26 degrees, that adds up to 8. So again, there's this level of personal responsibility as the moon brings this energy up. Can you be present with this and not necessarily fall down the spiral with it, but rather be able to hold that space, rather be able to anchor in 
and move through move through the plutonic colonic. So lots of root chakra references there that we don't need to get into. <laughs> um, moon will go void, of course. Void moon sometimes can feel a little, <laughs> sometimes a little more exhausted between the strong Aquarius vibes and that void moon. There may be also some tired and wired. If you are feeling tired and wired, ground in maybe hold some grounding crystals this thing is by my side all the time right now to support me moon into aquarius helps support this mercury aquarius energy that we're already working with working on aligning vision working on tuning into our personal vibration and also recognizing um the powerful energy of community so whether it's your community beyond the veil or your community here connecting in to be buoyed and supported in your work um final thing to mention that just started in my head and then back out i forget what it was i think the final thing to mention then, now that that thing darted in and out, is just remembering this energy is super overstimulating and just ch check in and recheck in with yourself about that. Uh, card wise, um, incoming change. It is a, oh, that's what it was, the Evolution Revolution Day. We are in our second Revolution, Evolution Day of Sun in Capricorn. Sometimes these energies can trigger us as well so be aware that may come up i feeling that probably coming in more likely in the morning with that pluto energy but can come at any point during the day and watch the power of your mind we have the shoulds card very capricorn the shoulds getting caught up in what others say you should be doing in the stress this is what happens the stress card when you follow the shoulds of everybody else rather than listening to your own intelligence what is right for you? Find that alignment. That's ultimately your highest moral alignment is aligning with your soul, aligning with your personal level of integrity. So if you're feeling stressed, notice where you've taken on too much and where you can set some things down. Um, I love the awareness card with this as well. We're moving forward. This is the chariot card. Towards success, it's a wonderful uh, card of momentum and forward mo forward movement and I think this comes again as we set down these things we set down the shoulds <laughs> we take the monkeys out for a walk reassess and come into understanding for ourselves who we are and what makes us each fly I love the euphemism for fly first love yourself so I'm gonna end with that fly fly my friends um besides that you can book a reading email me nini clark at gmail.com for that i still have 2022 year ahead readings available regular readings um transit lists for the year ahead available by donation besides all this the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power and stay curious namaste